So the average price for a detached house in Burlington dropped by 25% in just one year. We are going to be looking at that and much more in this market update for Burlington. This is going to be for the month of January, which just came out a few days ago. So uh, let's see how it has been going for the last few months. Um, this is the peak of the market. I left it up there just for comparison's sake. So at the peak of the market last year, uh, there was 364 homes sold in Burlington. This is straight from the Toronto Real Estate Board, not the other board like the Oakville Burlington Board. So this is focusing on the Toronto Real Estate Board stats. So 364 homes sold at the peak of the market. Now it has dropped to 124. And in December, it was 104. So it's a slight bump compared to uh, December. Now let's do a four year comparison. So like comparing pretty much apples to apples. So uh, in 2022, 156 homes sold, and that is a drop of 21% when you compare it to January of 2023. But the busiest uh, January, just like in many other markets, which I have done videos on, uh, the, it was 2021 in January. And then it went down to 156, then it went down to 124. Now let's look at prices, because this is what you know people are more, most interested in. So this is a four year comparison, uh, what's been happening in Burlington. So this is January of each year, January 2020 to all the way to January 2023. You can see here, if you wanted to get a detached house in Burlington uh, back in 2020, you could pick one up for on average about a million dollars, like 1.03. Then it shot up like $300,000 or even more in just one year. That's nothing. Then it shot up like almost $500,000 in one year again. And now it has come down below 2021 prices and we are at 1.36. That is the average price for a detached house. So it's a drop of 25% uh, compared to last year. And uh, yeah, a little bit below 2021 prices, but still a quite a bit higher than 2020 prices. A freehold townhouse back in 2020 was right around the $700,000 mark. Look at this, almost a $200,000 jump in one year that's nothing then another like it was insane like 2021 to 2022 like the price is just almost like five hundred thousand dollars or three hundred thousand dollars in one year and now it has dropped 26 percent now they're selling for right around the nine hundred thousand dollar mark these are average prices keep in mind so detached homes are down 25 percent in one year uh, freehold townhouses are also down 26 percent in one year same as condos condos generally are doing better than the uh, detached homes but not in burlington's case at least not for the month of january they are also down 26 percent uh below six hundred thousand dollars for this has not happened in a long time and now let's look at four key stats i think you guys should know before you guys think about putting your house up for sale or even if you're moving to burlington and you want to buy a house uh, i think this tells a better story of how the market's going than just what you see on prices. That's why I'm trying to include the, this this year. So hopefully it helps somebody. Uh, let me know in the comments below, like if you guys think this is useful information, because if nobody cares about this, then you know I won't include it. Uh, but if some people find it useful, then for sure I'll put in the time and put, put this together. Okay, so um, what we're looking at is four important stats you guys should know uh, before you guys sign any contract. One is SNLR. We'll get into more details what that is. This one is months of inventory. This is sale price to list price ratio. And this is days on market. So if you guys are thinking of putting your house up for sale, you want to know if it's going to take 12 days or 43 days because that can influence your plan when you're buying a house or putting an offer on something else. So days on market, uh, it went from 12 days, like less than two weeks, everything was selling for uh, back in January 2022. Now it is almost at, well, it's almost at two months. It's at 43 days on average. Now, the more expensive the house, the longer it's taking. That's just the way uh, the world works right now because um, more expensive homes are, you know, not in reach for everybody. So it takes a lot longer to sell. Uh, this one here is, this is not like a scientific formula, but um, on average, uh, a listing that went up for sale in January of 2022 Chances were not only will it get multiple offers, chances were it would get 114% of asking price. Now that has dropped to 96%. So what it means is there is some negotiation going on. So that way, in, this is good information in case you guys are thinking of putting a, an offer on a property, you know, like you don't have to panic and pay 
you can afford to negotiate and not only in terms of price but also try to include some conditions in there okay so that's kind of useful information and another one i think that's important is uh, months of inventory back at the peak of the market well not the peak of the market the peak of the market was right around like uh, i would say march like february march of last year uh, but in january 2022 the months of inventory it was 0.6 so a little bit more than half months of inventory so what that means is if nothing else came up it would only take 0.6 months for everything to clear out now that has jumped to 1.8 months uh, so that's also important to know because if you're thinking of putting your house up for sale um, you want to know like uh, how much um, competition there is right so that's always a good idea to know like what you're competing against this one is i think the most important uh, snlr it just means like sales to new listing ratio if you see my videos before you see me um, go through this um, basically what they say is like how many listings are coming up and how many are selling and they take the percentage in between them so if it's below 40 percent it's a buyer's market if it's above 60 percent it's a seller's market and anything in between it's a balanced market so at in january 2022 it was at 82 percent 82 percent would make it a strong strong seller's market and that's why everything was selling like above asking price in less than two weeks so we were in a strong seller's market, but that has dropped to 51.7%. This thing has been dropping, I would say, since about April 2022. Uh, that's when the Bank of the Canada raised the, started raising the rate. So ever since then, this has been dropping consistently, not just for Burlington, pretty much every single market. So right now we're sitting at 51.7%, which would make it a balanced market, and that in case of Burlington that is somewhat true like the good homes are still selling so if your house shows well and you price it properly uh, it will sell you know um, but I think the key is to price it properly and get some uh, good agent an honest agent to tell you all this stuff so you're not kind of overhyped into signing anything um, call me uh, you know if you, if you want some honest advice and um, yeah so these four important stats I think tell a better picture of what's going on in the market compared to just uh, prices alone. Prices are obviously most important, but I think that's all I want to show you for Burlington. I will be posting a video on Milton in a few hours and uh, check that out and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.